Hyperion Strings Micro is our introductory orchestral string library for native instruments, free contact player, complete control, and S-series keyboards. This library is the perfect starter pack for songwriters and musicians just getting into orchestral writing as well as seasoned composers wanting new colors in their orchestral palette. Hyperion Strings Micro has a forward and robust sound, recorded at Fantasy Studios in Berkeley, California, close mic'd in a dry sound stage, so it can be spatialized into any mix environment. It's perfect for any musical style from rock, pop, EDM, to fully orchestral compositions. It's detailed, configurable, and feature-rich to allow total customization, but every detail has been carefully designed to make this virtual instrument naturally usable without any learning curve. The library includes section presets for eight violins, six violas, five cellos, and four basses, and the combined full ensemble. Articulations for each section include multi-dynamic sustains, staccatos, spiccatos, pizzicatos, dynamic crescendos, and decrescendos. At around two and a half gigs, this makes Hyperion Strings Micro our largest micro library to date. In this library, the main user interface provides you with a complete set of sound shaping, layering, and articulation controls, including 12 independently assignable articulation layers that can be mixed, stacked, cross-faded, or key-switched in real time. Master controls include swell, body, attack, offset, release, and release volume and vibrato. On the main tab, you can choose from sustains, 8th note staccatos, 32nd note spiccatos, pizzicatos, crescendos, and decrescendos. In the individual section presets, you can also load individual dynamic layers for even more precise control. Each layer can have its own gain, pan, velocity range, and key switch assignments. Each type has its own core controls in the lower left area. Sustains offer simulated legato and smooth dynamic expression across P, MF, and Forte sample layers using the swell knob, and between natural vibrato and non-vibrato layers in real time using blend. Let's listen to all the instruments playing together using simulated legato. Now let's go ahead and have a listen to each instrument using simulated legato. Violins. Violas. Cellos. And lastly, bases. Response allows you to adjust the speed of the simulated legato transitions depending on how fast you play, as well as being able to choose between solo and duet, which will allow you to play two legato lines simultaneously as long as they're five semitones apart. Staccatos and spiccatos have two round robins and three dynamics per note, 
with optional velocity control at the push of a button. Let's have a listen to the staccatos. Spiccatos are great for those tight and fast passages. Let's have a listen to each instrument utilizing this articulation. Pizzicatos have P and F dynamics, with optional loose and tight auto switching based on how quickly you play, for greater realism. So slower playing will bring out more flams, and the faster you play, the tighter it sounds. The crescendo and decrescendo expressions both offer auto release and playthrough modes, so you can let go whenever you like or let the sample play through to the end. Inside the individual section presets, you can also tempo sync them to your host or stretch them to your desired length. Let's hear all the violins, violas, cellos, and basses playing with the crescendo articulation. Now same thing, but with decrescendos. And all of these features will apply to the Ensemble preset as well. The main difference with the Ensemble preset is that it has the Ensemble Mixer. The Ensemble Mixer panel is included in the main Ensemble preset to allow you fine individual control over the MIDI key range, volume, and pan positions of each section. The controls are simple, with visual representation to show you everything at a glance, including live signal meters and a color-coded key range display along the bottom. You can also switch off any section you don't need or limit their key ranges to fit your needs. As a note, make sure to use the swell knob to help make the string sound even more expressive and realistic. Now let's go ahead and listen to some of the different articulations using the Ensemble preset. The effects panel includes a filter, compressor, and equalizer modules that can be turned on and off individually, with plenty of factory effects chain presets that can be loaded from the preset drop-down menu. The filter module includes a variety of filter types to choose from, as well as cutoff and resonance controls. The compressor includes threshold, ratio, makeup, attack, and release settings. The equalizer includes gain, bandwidth, and frequency controls for low, mid, and high frequency bands. 
The space panel provides convolution reverb and a stage position mapping. This feature gives you the ability to place and position the strings in a huge variety of different environments and even create otherworldly atmospheric and ambient special effects. The possibilities are nearly endless. You can choose from 119 distinct real-world cathedrals and halls, chambers, large rooms, small rooms, hallways, and stairwells, underground environments, fields, and forests, and a selection of more unusual sound design and special effects impulses in both long and short subcategories. The stage mapping window allows you to freely place each section wherever you would like it on the soundstage, from left to right and from up close to distant. You can also adjust the roll-off for low and high reflections, adjust the overall wet mix and the perceived size of the environment. Hyperion Strings Micro also comes with performance tools as well. The Play Assist and the Arpeggio Panel provide live playback enhancers that make arranging and performance a breeze. The Play Assist Panel allows you to lock the keyboard to only the scales that you want to use and map the notes over just white keys for your convenience. First, select the scale in any key from your choice of Major, Minor, Major 6, minor 7, suspended 4th, and whole tone and harmonic minor scales. You can then customize the scale using the preset settings sliders to move any note to its sharp, flat, or natural tone. You can then assign your scale to the yellow key switch slot of your choice. When the scale is activated, the black keys are turned off and the notes of the scale are mapped just over the white keys, so you won't need to remember where the specific notes of the scale are. Just play up and down on the keyboard without worrying about a single sour note. The arpeggio panel allows you to create instant rhythmic and melodic patterns from 2 to 32 steps in length. You can draw in the velocity for each note in the pattern by using the graph table, or simply use the velocities that you play in real time. You can choose your note lengths in the rhythm menu, or choose between trill, arpeggio, and run modes. In arpeggio mode it cycles between the notes you're currently holding. You can select the number of steps to cycle through using the range menu. From 2 to 8 steps or choose run to continuously arpeggiate as long as you're holding down notes. Trill mode alternates between two notes continuously, with selectable intervals up to an octave using the range menu. In run mode, playing a single key will trigger a melodic run across the scale, depending on your direction and range menu settings, and whether you're using the play assist scale constraint system at the same time. Let's try this out while using the play assist and arpeggiator at the same time. The direction gives you a range of pattern options, from simply up and down patterns to complex cascades. You can add swing and humanize the rhythm for a more natural flow. To hear more demos and learn more about Hyperion Strings Micro, please visit our website at soundiron.com and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials.